right, we continue the series, Things No One Told You About Motherhood. And our guest today is somebody that I have seen go through different phases from when she was single and doing a million and one things. She was a medical doctor, model, the founder of Thresh Woman, and you know, she got married. So now she is a wife, mother, medical doctor, founder of Thresh Woman, founder of Practice Healthcare, and so many things. Oh, and she still models. She walks the runway. And I'm thinking, how do you do this thing, my hello? Are you an octopus? So we sat down with Dr. Kemi Ezewani. As she shared with us her journey, being able to do all of this, and being a mother to not just one, but three boys under the age of two. If you know anything about children, you know that this is not beans. It's, not, it's no mean fit. So we speak with Dr. Kemi Ezewani as she leads us through her journey with motherhood, sharing the things that no one told you about motherhood. Enjoy. Hi everyone, I am Kemi Ezewani. I am a medical doctor and a mom of three boys. I am Kaito's mommy and Kanye's mommy and little baby Kamdi here. <laughs> Kamdi, say hi. So I am the founder of Proactive Healthy Woman, a mobile preventive healthcare outfit that focuses on health education, prevention against infectious diseases through vaccinations and health awareness. I also volunteer with the Colors of Hope Foundation, which is an NGO that offers free medical care and free drugs to the underserved children of the Shogun community. Being a mom of three boys is, uh, I don't know, it's one of the cha most challenging things that I've had to do, you know, growing up as a woman. Because first of all, I did, I grew up not having a brother. I come from a family of five girls. So I really have not experienced, you know, the kind of energy that boys have or the kind of um, defiance or the kind of strong personalities that they have. Being a mom of three boys under, my twins are two years old and then my baby is 10 months old. So it's, it's really, really, it's really, really, really been challenging. You have to be really strong. There are days when I honestly ask God where my daughter is, you know. I just wake up every morning and I just gather strength and I just do it and I just face them. Sorry, my Sorry. 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 I love you. Did I plan to have three kids in two years? Wow, who plans for, who plans for that? Except you're having triplets. The first pregnancy, I found I was having twins. And as they were growing in my womb, it was like, oh, wow, this one is kicking, this one is chilling. I got to know them. And then I had them, and it was really challenging, you know, having to deal with both of them, even though I had a lot of help. But then you're the mom. It still all falls on your plate. And then I. They were nine months and I found I was pregnant again. And it was really hard for me then because I was just planning to start, because for the twins, it was almost impossible for me to work. I think the month I went back to work, when they were nine months old, was the same month I found out I was pregnant. And I remember just crying. I wept for days. I wept, you know. In fact, I was in denial. I went through all the, all the stages of grief until I got to acceptance. But I'm grateful because my husband was just really strong for me during that period. I had actually taken contraceptive pills, you know, but it didn't work. And that's why I tell some people, the babies that are going to come will come, like no matter what you try to do. It was, it was an unusual strength that I didn't know where, I, I honestly can't explain where it came from. But just managing the, managing the home front, running 12 hour shifts in A&E, coming back dead tired, you know, and still having the twins to come back to. I did not plan to have three kids in two years. It just happened. But now, looking back, I'm so grateful it happened. Nothing really prepares you for having a child. And then being a first mom to two children at the same time, nothing prepares you. Even being a doctor, even having a sister that has had kids, even, you know, babysitting for somebody. But the two pregnancies I've had, they were entirely different. For the twins, which was my first pregnancy, it was a lot more difficult. I had to deal with fibroid degeneration in my first trimester. At the end of my first trimester, my twin pregnancy was coexisting with multiple fibroids. So 
what happens is the fibroid competes with the baby for nutrients and then eventually outgrows the blood supply and starts to degenerate and I was in a lot of pain I had to be on admission that put me in the hospital for about five days I had to be on IV fluids I was in a lot of pain it was one of the most trying times of my life I have never experienced such pain in my entire life before and it was really hard and then after I came out of that I, I was suffering from anemia so I was constantly tired so it was actually really hard, that particular pregnancy. But then the second one was very, very simple. I was working, I worked up until I was at six weeks. I was running 12 hour shifts, accident and emergency shifts. So it was really easy and then I had him, it was just, it was a breeze. My two pregnancy journeys were, they were very different, very, very different. Some of my experiences as a pregnant woman, well, I think the basic thing I had were the cravings. So prior to getting pregnant, I expected to have nausea. People, you would watch Nollywood and people are throwing up and then you know, ah, yes, this girl is pregnant, you know. So I, I waited, ah, in fact, I told my husband, I said, I will frustrate you, whoa, I will not be able to do anything. Let me just tell you in advance. And I remember as the pregnancy was going on and I was waiting, no morning sickness, no vomiting. I said, ah, this one cannot escape me, you know, but I literally did not pass through any of those things. In my first pregnancy, I was always tired because it was twins and I was anemic during that period. But my second pregnancy, I had, I was at the top of my game. Like, I literally was always bouncing, like going to the market. In fact, my friend was tired because she would call me and say, ah, I'm in Balogu market. And she's like, who carries the stomach? Like, how are you like this, you know? So for me, I think that, you know, I, it was just the cravings, those were just the, major things that I had and I'm honestly very grateful to God. Every woman's story is different, every woman's body is different, every woman's pregnancy is different. One woman can have two, three, four pregnancies and all four of them will be very different. I, as, a, as a doctor I had a patient that did not come in because she had had four pregnancies and then she was in her forties. So she was pregnant for the fifth time and she did not come in for antenatal. I think eventually she came in when she was seven months and we had a lot of issues with that particular woman. So I always tell people, pregnancy A is different from pregnancy B, woman A is different from woman B. Stop shaming people, stop judging people. I had all my kids via cesarean section and I remember having, I remember saying it one day in the hospital where I work and then my colleague was like, so you even had cesarean section? I was like, yes, I did. And he said, and I thought you were a strong woman. He's not married yet. And he said, my wife, I don't want to hear that my wife is having a baby via cesarean. And for me, like, that knocked off everything I've been trained because I'm like, how can you even say that? And he's like, ah, his wife can, I was that, that no, his wife must go into that labor room and push. You know, I also had an experience where I said to somebody, and she, you know, I think she asked me, I can't really remember what happened. And she was like, oh, I thought you had a Hebrew woman delivery. And I'm like, yes, I had a Hebrew woman delivery. I am alive. My two babies are alive. Yes, it was a, a Hebrew woman delivery because there are indications actually for emergency cesarean section. As a woman, you can opt and say, oh, I don't want to feel the pain associated with vaginal birth. I want to have an elective cesarean section. But then some situations can come. For example, the child may be in distress. There may be failed induction of labor. Because if the woman goes past her due date and then you want to induce, once you induce a labor and it fails, you have to have a cesarean section. There is nothing, there is no two way about it. You know, in my case, it was a case of, oh, my pelvis had not been tried. There were multiple fibroids and I was having multiple gestation. And even though the, both babies were positioned to come out, you know, via vaginal delivery, one of them was actually in distress. And the doctor said to me, you have twins and you have gone past 36 weeks. Your babies are ready to come out. One of them was actually in distress. And he said, I'm not going to risk this. What is most important to me is having you alive and the two babies alive. I will not forgive myself if anything happens to either of the three of you. Those were his words. I think that pregnancy is a very spiritual journey. 
it's very spiritual and at the beginning of my pregnancy there were things that I kept declaring that I wanted you know for myself in fact I had a place where I wrote those things down I know the declarations I made over my children while they were in the womb I would speak to them and tell them even up until you know to the tiniest detail you'd be amazed when I show you my declarations book for my kids you know but pregnancy is a very spiritual journey and I, I, I wish every woman would understand that because you're betting life I have Kanye. Kanye was the first twin, older by a minute, out of the two of the twins. Um, he he's very strong, physically strong. He can use just one hand to hold his brother and spin his brother around, and his brother is like crying for help. <coughs> Kanye, he doesn't like playing. He has Kanye, stop. He doesn't like to play rough. He may pass off a vibe that. He doesn't care, but he actually is really soft and sweet inside. And sometimes he just throws his hand around you and gives you a very big hug, you know, but he's, he's very sweet. Now Kaito. Kaito. So Kaito is my twin. <laughs> Kaito is the second twin, actually. And he, Kaito is very sensitive. He's very caring and he's very sweet. So Kaito would notice when you have new pants on, he would notice when you have makeup on and he's like, oh wow, mommy, you're so fine. He's the one that notices when his baby is crying, you know, and he's just, he's actually very sensitive and very, very sweet. And then there's Kamdi. <laughs> Hi, Kamdi. Yay, Kamdi. And so there's Kamdi. Kamdi. <laughs> Kandi is very strong-willed and a lot of the times like he because his brothers can be very demanding and he's he's a very quiet baby he doesn't really stress you know but a lot of the times he's very assertive if they are trying him but he's very sweet and he's he's very he's a very peaceful baby I think he's giving me the least stress you know so far hey. I love you. I love you. I love you. Motherhood is hard, but it's fulfilling. I think it's it's one of the most fulfilling and rewarding experiences, knowing that you put in so much and you're getting back. It's it's literally in your face. I think that is so rewarding and so fulfilling for me. Very hard, but very rewarding. So the effect of pregnancy and childbirth on my body. So I used to be a workout junkie. I also used to be a model. So my waistline at that time was 25, 26 max. I had heard prior to that time that, oh, once you give birth, it would return back. And then after I had the twins, I had something known as diastasis recti. So diastasis recti really is when the abdominal muscles split. I would literally sit down, eat, and I would, my intestines, like, as it's digesting my food, I will literally be feeling, seeing the movement from my abdomen. So because of that, I really did not return back to pre-pregnancy size, and my waistline was huge. The things nobody told me about motherhood, number one, nobody prepared me for the crying. Oh my goodness, the meltdowns, like, Ah, so my kids are two, the terrific, well not call it terrible, but the terrific two stage and you know this is a stage where they want what they want and they don't want what they don't want and don't try to make them want what they don't want. They use their cries to get your attention. So in two years I had three kids, so imagine the amount of crying and you know, it's, it's, I think nobody prepared me for the crime. I think that's what really drives me up the wall a lot of the times. For a lot of my friends, when they get pregnant, I'm like, you know that once that baby is born, your life changes forever because you, 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 can't, you, can't, you can't go back. Enjoy every stage of life that you're in. If you're single, 
and you're not married yet, please enjoy that stage because there would be times where you would give anything to be in that state that you're in. So explore. If you want to travel with friends, travel with a group of friends. If you want to do whatever, if you're pregnant, enjoy that pregnancy because when the baby comes out, it's going to be different. If you have one child, enjoy that one child because when another one comes, it's different. The, 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 you know, the picture changes. It's a different equilibrium. So, yes, it does get overwhelming a lot of the times. I'm not going to even lie and say, oh, maybe sometimes. When I get overwhelmed a lot of the times, I just thank God that I have, I have domestic help. So a lot of the times I just, she takes the kids and then I just lock myself in my room and I just forget about everything. Some other times I go out with my friends. So my kids have a fantastic relationship with their dad, especially the twins. Like, you know, the one that breastfed these children. In fact, I, I when they said dada first, you know, and they, they, they actually really adore their father and for me it really gives me some insight into into the role a father plays in the life of a son I am Kemi Ezewane. I am a mom to three beautiful boys a medical doctor and the founder of Practic Healthy Woman motherhood <sighs> motherhood is hard but it is very rewarding and I think that every time a child is born, yes, we celebrate, but I think a mom is also born as well. So for all the moms out there, don't be too hard on yourselves. You're doing the best that you can for yourselves and for your little ones. And someday you would look back and you would be happy because it would have all been worth it when you see how grown and how beautiful your little ones turn out. Love you guys. <laughs> to enjoy more of this our Ogonge videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.